What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we're talking about the iOS 13.1.3, 13.1.2, 13 and 12.4.1 jailbreak status and of course what's currently going on in the jailbreak community and when we can expect a jailbreak and also we're going to cover the A13 devices and A12 devices which are basically the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR and the iPhone 11. Now as you probably know many iOS 13 versions have been released for example 13.0 all the way up to 13.1.3 and there has been no jailbreak for these versions for the moment. The latest available public jailbreak was for the iOS 12.4. So as you probably see there are multiple versions that have to be jailbroken but at this point we need to split the devices in multiple categories. For example we have the devices that support the iPound DFU or the Checkmate exploit and of course the Checkmate jailbreak and then of course we have the devices that do not support those exploits. For example the iPhone XS, XS Max and XR and of course the iPhone 11. Now for those of you who know about the uh, iPod DFU exploit slash the checkmate, this is actually a very powerful secure ROM or bootroom exploit which means that Apple cannot patch it and of course any iOS version in the past or the future or of course the present for example 13.1.3 or 13.2 which is currently in beta will be jailbreakable with no problem. Now there is already a jailbreak that will take advantage of that which is called check rain. I made a lot of videos about this on the channel so of course you can follow the progress on the channel. But unfortunately this exploit only works with the iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 4s and of course the check rain will only support the iPhone 5s and newer all the way up to the iPhone 10. So for the iPhone 10s, 10s Max and 10R and of course for the iPhone 11 we cannot use that. So what is the solution for these people? Well if you're running 12.4.1 definitely stay there. It's actually a critical version and might get you jailbroken on an A12 device faster than you think. You probably remember that back on September ZecOps posted quote update if you missed the iOS 12.4 signing window and wish to investigate or analyze your device keep it on 12.4.1. We plan to release LPE granting TFP0 to enable iOS DFIR investigations and of course the bug can also be used for jailbreak for those who are interested. So ZecOps will provide a very important exploit probably in a couple of months because this has to be patched first. But as I said this one is actually very important because compared to the checkmate exploit in here this one supports the A12 devices as well which means that you will be able to jailbreak your iPhone XS, XS Max and XR possibly even on 12.4.1 or 13.0 and of course that's actually very important because the checkmate exploit doesn't support your device but that exploit in there will. Now for those of you who are not very happy with checkmate because it's tethered you might also wait on 12.4.1 because the ZecOps exploit will also work for you. And this exploit in here that the ZecOps will release is not going to be tethered, so it means that you're going to be able to use it the same way we use Uncover right now. So yeah, there's an advantage in there, but this also means that this exploit in here is completely patchable. And of course, they will only release it when it's patched, so that's an important thing to keep in mind. Now what if you have an A13 device which basically is the iPhone 11 and newer? Well this exploit in here by ZecOps may not be very useful for you unless it supports iOS 13. We do not know for the moment. However, if you do have an iPhone 11, do not update past iOS 13. And the same thing applies for the A12 devices. Do not update past iOS 13.0 or if you already did, stay as slow as possible. Do not update further. Sparky posted multiple times times that he does have an iOS 13 exploit for TFP0 which is of course compatible with A12 devices and possibly even A13. However, he did not release anything for the moment because it's zero day, which means that Apple doesn't know about the vulnerability, but once Apple learns about the vulnerability and patches it, Sparky may release his exploit, but at that point the latest version will not be supported. So do not keep your A13 or A12 device on the latest versions because these will be the hardest to jailbreak. Stay as slow as possible if you want to jailbreak in the future. So to recap, for the moment if you have an A12 device or an A13 device, ZecOps exploit will definitely be very useful, especially for the A12 because this one will support the A12 devices which would basically allow us to update the Uncover and of course with the substitute already done on the Uncover and of course with Uncover 
cover already supporting the A12 devices fully with Cydia on 12.4, it would definitely be easy to update it to support 12.4.1 once this is released. However, for the iOS 13, this exploit in here might support some versions of 13, but also we have Sparky's exploits in here, which may be released after they are patched in the future, but for that you should definitely stay as low as possible. Now, for the rest of the devices, for the iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 5S, there is no worries for you. There's the checkmate exploit in here on the iPhone DFU, and of course through the check range jailbreak in here, we'll be able to support all the present, past or future versions of iOS. So 13.1.3, 13.1.2, 13.2, 12.4.1, it doesn't matter, you don't have any problems in there. But for the A12 devices and the A13, things are more complicated and you need to stay on specific versions. So I definitely recommend 12.4.1, but if you're already updated, stay as low as possible. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I'm GSNow and till next time, peace out.